Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Murrieta, California, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Three, three, ready. Three. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, knee to the head, that never feels good. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping on the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. 
Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Big kick lands. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just missed with the left there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Big ball for punch land. Now we get back to range. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big kick lands. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, big elbow. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Right under the elbow by Lee. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Oh! Oh, look at this. Jumps over into side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flu choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. If you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? How good is that right hand? Right hand upstairs. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, Really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Big body kick land. Five minutes in the books. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. Oh man, head kick land. Effective punch there by Lee. Huge knee lands from the tie clinch. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here, another strike lands there. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there, he hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John, stop it. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Went for the inside leg kick. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice punch lands over the top. Continuing to stay busy, now goes to the knee to the body. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, big left. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. Good kicks there by Lee. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clip. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that land. And just misses with that big right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That big punch lands through the middle. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Oh, lands a knee to the head. Taller fighter once again. Finding the target with relative ease. Oh, collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big body kick. Let's go. Double that jab up. Can't take many of those. You better check. Spinning back fist. Single collar tie now. Now a knee to the body. What a tricky head kick. Hands higher, hands higher. Seconds winding down in round two. Nice. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Round three next. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Jab, cross, high kick, go! Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Oh, nice. Nice head kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Let those hands go. Nice punch there. Big head kick lands. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice kick there by Lee. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, beautifully done with that head kick. Big head kick. Knee to the body. Oh, nice. And this might just be a matter of time. Grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at one minute, 56 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke. Ruth, the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.